Uh, my name is Glenn Wolf. I'm the National Junior Development Manager for Badminton Australia um, and I'm also a National Squad player as well. So I've been in the role of Junior Development Manager for the last three years and been a part of the National Squad for the past ten. Fantastic. Um, can you please tell us uh, what is the selection criteria for the uh, Junior uh, National Team? Uh, at the moment we're currently restructuring the National Junior Squad. Um, when we get everything together we'll be looking at the junior players and taking into account not only their results, past results over the last uh, sort of 12 to 18 months, but we'll also be looking at their future potential to develop in badminton. So that's things to do with their physical ability, their commitment to the sport and uh, technical ability as well. What is the goal for the uh, national junior team in 2013? We've got a few uh, major events to focus on. The first one in 2013 is the Australian Youth Olympic Festival in Sydney. Um, so we'll be picking it, we've picked our teams for that and uh, we're hoping our teams can uh, perform quite well there. And then later in the year we have the World Junior Championship. So our goal there will be to perform better than we did in the last one and consolidate from a 19th place finish and hopefully push for a top 16 finish. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts on the recent win of the Super Series 2014 competition? I think it's fantastic for Australia to get an event such as the Super Series. Um, for people in Australia to see the quality of players that will come out with that event. Um, it's, it's really great and great for our junior players to see that and see the level they have to try and strive for to, uh, to make it and achieve something in badminton. Um, how do you evaluate your players? Um, we, we have a, a few coaches around the system so we use our, our coaches to uh, evaluate their performances not only like I said, their results but also how they play, their mental state and then we also use training diaries from our players to see how they're going in day to day life. Um, it's hard for us being such a big country to keep track 24 hours a day of our, our junior players so we rely a lot on their feedback and feedback from their coaches as well. Uh, what is your philosophy as the uh, junior development um, coach? I guess the philosophy is just to nurture the talent we have. Um, it's, yeah, it's quite difficult sometimes with players all over the country, I said, but we really have to focus on uh, getting the best out of the players we have and really uh, yeah, bringing their level up. Um, what do you think differentiates badminton from the other sports? Um, I think it's just such a fast and exciting pace sport. I mean, the, the shuttle can go over 400 kilometres an hour. You need to have uh, technical ability, physical ability, um, and mental ability as well. So it's really just the full package for a sport and yeah, it's great as a spectator sport as well. Um, how do you best prepare your players before their competition? I guess we use a mixture of pre-tournament pre training camps and then also just uh, talking to our players and seeing what works best for them. Um, we don't always have our players training together for very long before events, um, so we really need to maximise the time we have with them. So it's really about communication and finding out what's best for each player and best for the team. Um, do the parents get involved um, in their development? Yeah, the parents play, play a big part because we rely a lot on them, uh, a lot of effort from the parents and families themselves. We can't uh, provide everything for the players, so it's really, really important that we do have supportive parents around the system and that they do, um, they do come along. Um, they won't necessarily be involved in training sessions, but we really need that support network back there to help us uh, develop the players. So is it all just hard work or do the players uh, get some time to have some fun? No, I think they get, get a lot of time to have some good fun. Um, normally you, sort of, you travel overseas, you might get to uh, experience another country. The World Junior Championships was recently in Japan and the junior players got a, a, a day or two rest to go out and enjoy, enjoy the sights. And I think just uh, being in the team environment also is very, very fun for, for the players, junior and senior as well. So do you dictate the diet? Uh, no, we, we try to educate the players in, uh, on what's, what's good and what's not good and let them make their own decisions. Um, yeah, because when they, when they get up to the senior level, they're, they're not going to have someone there with them 24 hours a day to try and uh, tell them what to eat and what not to eat. So we really just try and uh, educate them and make them make smart choices for themselves. Uh, what's the youngest age um, for a junior team member? Uh, it, it can vary depending on the player's development and uh, their level of skill. At the moment we have players involved in our system from about 13 years old through to 18 years old. Okay. Um, do you have any advice for uh, future players wanting to take up badminton? I think just first of all make sure you enjoy it and have fun. And, um, and I think if, you, if you're enjoying it and having fun you'll want to you'll get better and develop. And, uh, yeah, once you get, get some good results and start to yeah, enjoy yourself, we can, um, we can take it from there. So Glenn, um, how, tell us uh, how you got into badminton. 
Um, I got into badminton when I followed my dad along to the local club in, uh, in Ararat in Victoria. Um, he, was a, he was a keen sort of social player. Um, he won't like me saying he's a social player, he thought he was a bit better than that. But, um, but yeah, I followed him along and I've been playing the sport ever since. So what do you love about badminton? Uh, I think just, just the excitement and the fast pace of the game. It's, uh, it involves everything, you know, physical ability, technical ability, technical ability, and you really have to be across all facets of the game. And, yeah, I think it's just, just an exciting sport. I love playing it. Um, what do you want to get out of badminton? Um, I want to achieve, achieve good results, be a top like, level international player, um, whether that's getting to a world championship final or something like that, or just uh, knowing that I've achieved the best I can from my ability. Um, and yeah, always be enjoying the sport as well. So what kind of preparations do you do before a major competition? Um, before a major competition, I like to make sure I'm nice and relaxed. Um, I know, know that I've done the training in the sort of six to eight weeks building up to it so that I'm in good physical shape and good mental shape as well. Um, and then just try and stay relaxed as I can before the, the two or three days before the event and uh, just work on those little things. Um, again, making sure I eat right, sleep right, and then uh, ready to go. Um, so you are a doubles player? Yes, doubles player. Um, can you tell us a bit about your partner? Uh, we've been playing with Ross Smith for the last seven years. Um, we may be making some changes soon within our, in our doubles partnership, but uh, yeah, it's been a good, good seven years with Ross. We've uh, achieved some good results, and uh, I think we've developed our game quite well together um, from the early days and improved quite a bit. But it's been, a, it's been a good time with Ross. What do you think are your strengths in badminton as a um, player? I think for me, in the doubles combination, probably my speed and front court work um, is probably what, what's my strongest area. And then um, have a partner that complements that with some power from the back court. So I think, yeah, getting that balance right in my combination, uh, someone that can hit from the back while I can control the front is uh, sort of important for me. Um, so will we be seeing you in the 2014 um, Commonwealth Games? Uh, I hope so. I hope so. We're getting to training pretty pretty seriously for that soon. So um, yeah, it's a long process. We'll start sort of 18 months out trying to build up tournament results and training quite hard. But um, pending selection, I hope I'm there. So how many tournaments do you have to play a year um, to get your rankings up? Um, normally we play around sort of 13 to 15 tournaments a year internationally. Um, and this is varying from uh, Australia, Oceania, Asia, Europe. Um, we just travel where the competition is, I guess. So yeah, around that, around that 13 to 15 mark is what we, we aim for. Okay. Um, any words for your fans out there? <laughs> uh, no, no, just thanks for the support. Uh, it's good to... Uh, it's good to get family and friends along and also to hear messages uh, from people you've never met before as well. It's really, it's really motivating and keeps, keeps you going. So to anyone that supported me, thanks very much for the support. Okay, great. Thank you for your time. No worries, thanks. Okay. That's great. Perfect. Thank you.